Hey you guys, my name is Dwan, and in our last video, we discussed the three basic shapes in drawing. This video, we're going to now discuss how you can apply that same concept in painting. So you all stay tuned. All right, you guys, so I am using a acrylic pad by Strathmore, I believe that's the name of it, and it's a nine by 12, that's the, that's the size. And I've applied gesso to both papers. I am gonna be doing two different versions of a pair. And I am applying orange to the one on the right because the one on the left is already dry. But I'm just gonna show you that it, I'm just basically taking a wet brush and I am painting the background a orange color just to give the, the background some warmth. Um, what you will notice is even at the end of this painting, uh, you can see some of the background kind of seep through. And it's, it's nice that the background is a warm orange color simply because uh, it's going to give a little bit more what can I say, a little bit more character to the painting opposed to it being a, a white background, all right? So I'm using a round brush to draw my circle. Remember in our drawing, we draw a circle first, and then our triangle is gonna be on the top, all right? And this, pic this color that I'm using is like a very light um, grayish tan. It looks it looks white on the paper, but it's really not. So now I'm going with a deep, I'm going in the background with a deep violet color. All right. And that's gonna, I'm laying the color down just so that we know where our colors are gonna be. The light source is gonna be coming in from the left hand side. And which is also another reason why the darkest part of my pair is gonna be on the right hand side. Okay. And that is because. Um, our lightest portion of the pair is going to actually be on the left. So I'm going in on the right hand side with a very light violet and distinguishing the background from the subject matter. And again, you'll see me go back in and start defining things later towards the end. So this violet purple is now going next to the deep violet and that's to give it a little, give the pair some transition. All right so that it doesn't go from just dark to light. You know, we wanna have some transition colors in between. And see, once again, I'm going in the background, I'm kind of, that that orange is still kind of coming through that background, which is okay, but I wanna make it very distinct that our background is supposed to be darker on the left side and then brighter on the right hand side okay and that's gonna bring our life that's gonna bring the picture to life a little bit more it's, it's gonna make it more believable okay it's we don't want to just have a subject matter on a flat background at least not for the pair in some pictures you you can get away with it but in this pair we want we want to make our pair pop all right, so I've already laid the, the green and now I'm going in with um, the yellow. And it's okay that your your um, colors start to blend. That is it's okay. Trust me, it's fine. All right. And so now I'm going back in because as you notice, sometimes your, your colors will kind of almost blend in with each other sometimes and you want to go back and just define those colors and so i'm constantly going back making sure that i'm defining where that where the shadow is on the pair versus where the pair starts to come into view all right And I'm using very short strokes. And notice that I'm not painting, painting. It's just I'm putting the, I'm touching the, the paper or the canvas. I'm touching it and I'm smoothing some of the paint across. And then I'm, I'm lifting the brush once again. Like I'm not just painting, 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 painting. I'm applying, then I'm lifting up. I'm applying, then I get up. Apply, back off. Okay, so now see, I'm going back in with this purple or violet. Very, it's a very light violet 
because I, I really want to make sure that it's not going from dark to just light and there's no transitional colors in between. We want to make those transition colors very apparent. Even though in painting you can always get you can you can get very creative. And that's the thing that I like about painting versus um, drawing uh, sometimes because you don't have to be as precise. But as long as you paint the picture and tell the story, um, you don't have to be as detailed, even though the details can be inferred. And this is acrylic paint, if I have not said that before. It's acrylic paint that I am using. Um, for the purple, the deep violet, and the light violet, I am using a brand called Artist Loft. And for all of the other colors, uh, I am using, actually, even the this color here that look, that's the very light grayish tan, that's going on the table that is also by artist loft now i have found a 48 color um pack you can find that but i have not found the individual colors although i love those colors they are awesome so if you can find that pack you're um you know have fun with those colors because you can find one color and it comes in about three different shades and um also the other colors that i am using like the yellow and the green and i i did use some black um that is coming from a brand called master's touch and i have not been able to find that lady lately i'm sorry um i don't know if it's discontinued or these days i'm not going into the store to shop so if it's in the store and i just they're not online then oh well we are, we found some stuff online so i recently ordered um a brand called oh my goodness what is the brand the brand is called liquitex it's liquitex basics and i am being forced to um use that brand now because they i had did, i was able to find the eight ounce bottles of paint okay because like in this video, I created two paintings. Um, I'm only going to show you this one. And then in the next video, I will show you how I got a little bit more creative. And I'm going to paint um, the pair a different color. So I want you all to just get creative. Once you have those basics down with how to draw the pair, which is a circle and a triangle, once you start learning um, how to lay down the colors, then get creative by all means. You do not have to copy someone else's um, colors. You create your own style, all right? Just as long as you keep those rules that are the same, which is your light source, okay? All right, so I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. All right. Hey, you guys. So I am back with a recap and just let you all know um, that once again, I used acrylic paint. One of the brands is by Artist Loft and the other brand is by Master's Touch. The size of the uh, the size of the paper that I am using by um, Strathmore, which is the acrylic paper. I am using a nine by 12. OK, so this is the finished product. All right, so that's what it looks like. And you can still see how some of that orange kind of came through, which is okay. And I like it, you know, and it, it came through on this side as well. Maybe not so much as in the pair itself, but you can see a little bit on the table where it came through. And to me, it gives the painting a little flair, okay? Um, so I want you to know that I also used a, a one inch brush the entire time I painted. You, let me just back up and tell you all that I I used um, oil painting. My, my medium of choice and what I first learned on was oil because it dried at a slower pace. And, and it also allowed you to um, make mistakes here and there. With acrylics, you have to be so fast that it does not give a whole lot of room. 
for um, making mistakes because it dries so very fast. But for me, that is what is kind of helping me uh, accomplish some of my small project. I'm a mom of two, I'm a wife, and I need to move fast, okay? So, which is why I prefer to use this nine by 12 piece of paper in this um, painting. And then um, the one inch brush is going to, it's, it's not very small. So for the most part, it's a, a flat brush and it's very, it's wide. So um, I'll just let you all see the, the brand that I got. I guess, it, I don't know if this is the brand or what, but on the back, it has this. This is what it has. So I guess that's the, the brand. I, oh, low, low. Low Cornell, okay? So it's not in here, but this one is gonna start at a two inch brush, but I use the one that's smaller than that and it's the one inch brush, okay? So I used that brush the entire time for the painting and it worked out tremendously. And the brush is big enough so that it covers a little bit more ground versus you using a small little cute little paint brush and it's taking you a long time to get a painting done because you're not working with, uh, you know, a, a, a big enough tool. All right. So if you all have any questions, please feel free to comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you all later. Bye.